Hi ho fuzzies! Today I want to talk about a very specific topic because last week I talked about my top favorite furry YouTubers I currently watch and now I want to show you the second part of this two parts video series. Today I want to criticize the furry YouTubers in in the English language and well I'm also furry in the English language but I try to do something differently and therefore I'm talking about that. What I want to say is that when I watch fur tubers like Nasayina, Majora Strawberry or others, any other fur YouTuber, I'm like, okay, they portray a kind of a perfect world in the furry fandom. Everything is fluffy with rainbows and unicorns and whatever. And that appears like, I don't know, I know, maybe only in the German furry fandom, but also what Cothrix used to say about the toxicity of the furry fandom in the US um, that the furry fandom is not a perfect place it is really beautiful and I love being part of furry fandom but the furry fandom is not as perfect as it could be and what I miss is that other furry tubers except for me and Cothrix start to talk about that because um, I used to see for example in Majora's videos I used to see that some years ago when he was trying to inform people, telling people about things in the furry fandom and what they love in the furry fandom, what's really cool in the furry fandom. And, well, they kind of informed people. And also I think Nos kind of did that. And now I feel like, okay, every fur tuber is currently doing more or less the same. Some, some skits, happiness videos, spreading happiness. Happiness is a good thing, I love to spread happiness too. But happiness, the furry fandom doesn't consist of happiness. There is much more than happiness, there is something people maybe want to learn. And also what I see is in the English speaking community that um, furries or the audience is not really interested in learning much about the furry fandom, but more interested in funny skits and how people run around doing stuff and whatever. And for example, I will never understand why people in the, uh, in the US for example love PO boxes and Q&A so much, because here in Germany Doing both is pretty boring for people. Therefore, you normally don't do that because people are rather more interested in learning something about the furry fandom. For example, different furry words. Ha where does the word yif come from, for example? What are typical habits in the furry fandom? How do you behave when you have a fursuit on? Something like that. <clears throat> Sorry, <coughs> I still got my cold. And that's what I kind of miss in the furry fandom. It's just the... I don't know, I feel like... Every fur tuber does more or less the same, although it's not really the same, but that's what I feel. And that's my critique about the furry fandom. And to be honest, I also talk about negative points of the furry fandom, especially on my German furry channel. And therefore I got criticized a lot, because there are some people who want to see the furry world as the perfect world, without any mistakes, any faults. and. I think this is an illusion, because the furry fandom is not just one-dimensional. There are so many dimensions, so many things you need to see, so many things you need to recognize, and there are not only good things, and that's what I want people to know, because the furry fandom is not a perfect place, especially not in Germany. And, well, I don't know where, uh, how it's in Italy or France, but the German furry fandom is definitely far away from being a, being a perfect place. So, I want your opinion. Please tell me your opinion. How do you think about fur YouTube at all? Do you think it's too... too... I wouldn't call it soft, that's, that's what we would call it in Germany. Um, I would say, is it too... Uh, is, it too is it always the same? Do you feel like every fur YouTuber is more or less spreading the same message without much content in it? For example, when I saw... And no offense, Majira, I love your videos and I lo you're, you're a really awesome person, but um, this how to pack your suitcase for a convention, where is the message in it? It's just a skits video with lots of fun, but I feel like, okay, this is such a generous video. Every fur tuber could have done that and it wouldn't have been anything special. And Nasa Yina could have done that and Awesome Rusty Rex could have done that. A lot of other fur tubers could have done the same video and it wouldn't change anything. Do you know what I mean? 
if I don't know when you also know my German channel and if you watch this channel a lot I try to portray me as a person I try to be three-dimensional <laughs> a person you could feel person you could see and not just a, t a typical furry on YouTube I try to be someone and that's what I kind of miss when it comes to other fur tubers they don't look like someone <laughs> and I don't know how you as someone who watches my videos feels but do you think I'm someone or do I appear like any other fur youtuber you can really really write it, write it down below I'm really interested in knowing that whether I look like the typical furry or whether I appear to be different and what I try to do is I hope that you are learning something. I know English speaking furries are not interested in learning things about the furry fandom that much regarding, I don't know, when it comes to, when I compare it to the German furry fandom, if you know what I mean. But I try to spread some messages, I, I try to make you think about certain things and well, now it's your turn, I guess. Write down below what you think of the furry fan and what you think of me as a fur tuber. I also thought about not quitting YouTube with my English channel, but to change something. But the main problem is that my main focus is on my German channel, and this channel mainly exists for translating my German furry videos, which is a pity because I would love to do so much more. But when it comes to, not just subscribers, but when it comes to the clicks on my videos I feel like okay I don't reach many people anymore and this is an, a little not r not frustrating but I feel like okay why exactly do I do this I want to reach people I want to make them happy and want them to learn something therefore it also would be really awesome if you just shared this video to a lot of people that they are able to see that and write down below what they think about the furry YouTube problem I would say in general so, guys, I hope every one of you will have a nice rest of the day, week, or whenever you're watching this video. Stay possible and fluffy. Bye!